Hello from Chicago. This is CryptoCoach365, day I think 90 is what we're at. So a uh, long day, got here, uh, lots of work in the morning again with uh, real estate and other stuff because there was closing this morning, but there was also lots of stuff to catch up on before I actually went to the airport. Uh, the flight was uh, interesting. Um, I, it was a fairly short distance to Chicago. It's uh, normally, I guess it would take about two and a half hours, maybe three. Uh, but unfortunately the flight that I have ended up having a layover in Detroit and when I got to Detroit I found out that my flight from Detroit to Chicago was uh, delayed by about an hour and a half and later on I found out that the reason was that there was a storm all the way down in Orlando the plane in Orlando got stuck but it wasn't that they needed a plane from Orlando it's that on that plane were the pilot and crew that were going to be piloting this flight from uh, Detroit to Chicago so basically the airline had to find uh, a different pilot and crew on a very short notice which they did and I made it here so uh, Chicago is uh, unfortunately been in the news recently because of all the shootings I don't think I uh, am anywhere near that area or if I am uh, I'm just going from the airport to the hotel and back um, probably not gonna affect me anyway but uh, I'm also here for uh, the JT Fox two-day seminar it's gonna be a business training stuff uh, and it's going to be keeping me busy morning till dawn because that's what JT and his coaches usually do uh, when you go to learn from them, uh, they are going to work your butt off to make sure it's uh, you get your money's worth. Uh, for me, this was not um, this portion didn't uh, didn't really cost anything because I'm already a lifetime member. But uh, for other people, it's uh, not a very cheap class, but it's definitely worth it. So uh, it's really late. Uh, it's actually about midnight almost, but uh, well, it's like eleven. But due to the time zone, the time zone differences, it's uh, past midnight for me. Uh, I think this is also my like 15th trip this year. It's been kind of crazy how much I've been traveling. So I'm gonna try to kind of keep it short. Um, crypto, uh, people say it's volatile and it goes up and down and it crashes in price and you can't really use it as money. Well, guess what, uh, this today, uh, the Turkish Lira, which is a government currency in Turkey, has crashed. Uh, it was either 7% or 8 or 9 depending on who you ask and what time period you use. But uh, it was not very pretty for the people who live in Turkey. Uh, but really what this shows once again is that um, you might look at Bitcoin and see, say that, see that it uh, fluctuates in price a lot and you might think, well, I guess it's not really for me because, I mean, my own currency is so much better and stable and I can use my currencies as my visa and all that stuff, so Bitcoin doesn't actually do anything for me. But there are a lot of people in a lot of different parts of the world that unfortunately do not have that luxury and for a lot of people, uh, even those who do have that luxury, um, the loss of that luxury is rather sudden. Like, uh, I don't know how many people expected to wake up in the morning and see their savings account lose a tenth of their value. So, like, currencies, they work and work and work and everything is great until suddenly it's not great. And it's really hard to predict when that actually happens. And this has happened, unfortunately, to the Turks. Uh, it has happened very badly with uh, Venezuela. It's happening in my uh, birth country of Ukraine. It happened in Russia. It happened in a lot of countries, some big, some small. Um, with uh, regards to Bitcoin, yes, it does fluctuate. But at least with Bitcoin, the fluctuations are generally in the upward direction because the amount of Bitcoin is fixed uh, while the demand keeps going up. Uh, so the chances of it crashing are, it does go down, but that mainly happens when um, it gets overbought. There's too much speculation, people buy too much of it, and then uh, they decide, oh, it's too, the price is too high, so they sell it. Uh, with other currencies, the reason that things crash is because governments end up printing more and more money to pay for debts or to pay for social programs or whatever else. And eventually the printing just simply catches up to them. 
Unfortunately, uh, government currencies are inflationary, which means that they, they will have more and more of them printed. So that is pretty much uh, long term, almost I would say inevitability that um, government currencies will end up uh, hitting a point at which they will end up crashing to, to uh, being overinflated. I mean, really, the average lifespan of a fiat currency, I think, was uh, used to be 27 years. Now it's like in the 40s just because dollars and some other currencies kind of pushed it out. But uh, it's just it like historically, it's always been it'll always it always happens. So and there's no reason that they would be any different for whatever currency you're using in the long run. <clears throat> so. Yeah, uh, Bitcoin has a way to protect yourself and now it's protecting and becoming more of an alternative safety currency for uh, another country. Uh, so, uh, you know, these countries are going to keep going one down one by one, unfortunately. But if you're worried that it might happen to you, just uh, switch over to Bitcoin and it's a good way to hedge yourself against uh, any kind of, like I kept saying, Bitcoin hedges you against politics and it hedges you against political currencies and other political instabilities too. So there you go. Anyway, uh, tomorrow is going to be a very early day. I'm going to be very busy pretty much all day just learning and doing like studying all the business stuff, listening to some of the top coaches in the world. And then uh, in the evening, hopefully I'll get to do some networking and then I'll record the next one. So I'll let you guys know how it went uh, tomorrow. And until then, uh, good night.